Hey, let's take a little time and explore DeepSeek. I'm sure you've seen it mentioned if you're kind of in tune with any of the AIs going on right now. So I'm going to show it to you without any kind of modification, and then I'm also going to show it to you with let's try out some mega prompting. Mega prompting being telling the AI, this is what you are, this is what I need from you, all in one prompt. Versus, let's just go in and ask for a scene. So, this is going to be, we're going to do a not safe for work, and we're going to do a regular YouTube version. This one's going to be the YouTube version, I'm also going to do the not safe for work. The mega prompting will be on the not safe for work, just because there's really no reason to do it with the YouTube version. It's only if you really want very explicit things. So let's take a look at DeepSeek. Mm, let's do 30 chapters. A little bit of the reasoning happening. It's kind of it talking to itself, which gets a little annoying. Interesting. I like it. It's a little while to respond at times. I also need to do, do, do. Is it still all the way turned up? Yes, it is. So this and this turned up all the way. As you can see, the max tokens are tiny. Interesting. Mm-hmm. It's actually really interesting to read its reasoning. If 
I could spell clarification. So now I'm saying you can ask me questions for clarification if you want to. I was meaning that the chapter itself isn't a complete chapter. It's fragments of a chapter. Can you give me an actual chapter? Like 2,000 words. Okay, so it's definitely doing better. I do like the pros of it. Just the little fractured segments aren't something that's really usable. And it's doing a really good job. And it's still going. This fireworks doing. That even neat. So we're definitely getting a nice solid chapter. Okay. Very nice, very nice. Let me actually copy that. And I still had this up for some reason. Alright, cool. Not really necessary, but I just want to see that chapter. Okay. Is it actually paste? Let's see here. 
Or is this the thing that needed to be copied? And it's doing the little dots as the thing that I copied. No. Okay. All the way up. See what this actually looks like. Can I paste this? Yes, okay. So with that one message, eh, it's 1900 words, so that's okay. Let's go slowly through the pros. See what it looks like. Mm -hmm. See, and this, if you prompt for this, then it'll know exactly what you need. Now, I didn't mention any of that, but that's okay. Yeah. Alright, let's slowly read it together. See what we actually got. Now, of course, this is chapter 30 of a book that I have an outline in chapter 34. So this is very out of context, but it gives a nice idea of the kind of prose, the kind of you know, characters it would create. It actually sounds like a really fun book. I actually really like that, that it put it like that, because that is how it would come across a, a system failure. Okay, so we are still doing brow furrowed. That's okay.
Interesting. Okay. Looks like fun. Definitely looks like an interesting novel. Very nice. Okay. Interesting. Totally different final chapter. I enjoy that. And I will definitely tell you how much this costs, because DeepSeek is incredibly cheap. And if you like the pros, it's a very nice little model. It can also go not safe for work with a little bit of prompting, which I will show on the not safe for work Patreon. Nice. The reasoning that we see is actually super interesting. And there aren't really other ones that I play with a lot that show the reasoning so that you can see that, okay, this is how the AI talks to itself so that you can incorporate those words that trigger it so that you don't have to have a lot of back and forth. But maybe we end up writing this book at some point. I mean, I like cosmic horrors. I like sci-fi. I like character-driven stories. It's got zero romance. So it's a nice change. Do I currently have a pen name that would work for that? Hmm. I don't know that I have a pen name where something that's zero romance, sci-fi... Cosmic Horror would fit, so that could be fun. Alright, thank you so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed this look at DeepSeek, and I hope you play with it. This is just open router and just, hey, give me an outline. Let's play with it. Let's learn it. Let's see what it's capable of, and then go from there. See y'all next time. Thanks for being here.